Hey, what's up, people? Let's do some more DSX Human Revolution. This is Major Slack, and this is a real walkthrough, and we are in Captain Penn's office. Who's that guy on the floor, Slack? That's our buddy, police officer, who has decided to take a nap in the captain's office. He doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. What's this over here? This is an ebook. Okay. Yeah, and um, we can use this air duct to kind of like sneaky, sneaky our way through. Um, the cop shop, but there's a laser grid here, so we have to turn that off. And fortunately enough, we have the access code for that, and that's right here. We also got that from Melanie Frezel's office downstairs on the first floor, right beside the lobby. So let's apply this six, eight, boya, and inactivate or deactivate the laser grid. So the laser grid is off. And this is going to take us, it's first going to give us a traveler's bonus, and secondly, it's going to take us to, drum roll please, the police, bam, armory. Look at all those goodies. Yum, 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 yum. Well, how do we get in there, Slack? We could hack this, or... Is that it? No, it's... It's the computer we have to hack. I believe this is, um, yeah, that's just the laser grid. My bad, yeah. It's the computer we have to hack. And we have the code. We got this code from uh, Pocket Secretary in Melanie Frazell's office downstairs on the first floor. So, just punch this in. Oh yeah, and we're in. And all you have to do is just click on this, opens the door over there, see? And we're done. And I think we're going to turn off the cameras too. There we go. A couple of cameras out in the hall that we don't want uh, harshing our buzz when we finally get out there. Take a look around on the desk. Nothing on the desk. Let's go in here and have our way with all these goodies. Um, I'm full up, so I'm going to have to start dropping stuff. First thing I want to do though is take this shotgun ammo there. Um... Oh yeah, this is a great little weapon here, the peps. You definitely want to take this. This is going to be very useful late in the game. This is kind of like a, a shotgun slash stun gun. It's kind of like a shotgun with a, sp a stun gun with a spray effect. It kind of like, it blows away like a whole bunch of guys at once and stuns them and even kills them if you get close enough, okay? This, you definitely want to take that, okay, the peps. I'm going to have to drop some stuff here. Um, don't need the 10 mil. So let's see if there's any more 10 mil ammo that we need to we can pick up here. Probably not. And you definitely want this rate of fire uh, upgrade too. And I do believe that that shotgun ammo yeah, it's full. Okay, so I can't take on, I don't take on anymore. Okay, so that's that. Let's start emptying out so we can pick up a lot of these great goodies. 10 mil, you go out. Shotgun, you go out. We can get another one later on. Um, let's try to rearrange this stuff here. You go up there. You go there. Okay, first thing that goes on board is the peps. All the ammo. Let's see if we can get the uh, rate of fire upgrade. Yes, we can. Can't take the mine template, so something's got to go. I think I'm going to drop... Do I have any machine pistol ammo? Yes, I do. Only 10, so that goes out. Take on the mine template, that's much more important. And I think that's about it. Could take that on, sell it. And we're done. Yeah, make sure you come in here and have some fun. Lots of good goodies in here. All right, so that's that. We're good. The camera shut off outside. Where's the camera? Right there. <laughs> Let's go up to the third floor and uh, check in with Chet Wagner. Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hostage situation at Seraph Industries was up. Chet Wagner is in the police stage lobby, but he's not going to give us any information unless we get some dirt on him. Okay, so we have to go to his office and 
snoop around and see if he can find some dirt on him. And here comes a guard. That's just perfect. Let him walk by. Take down in him. Have you had your afternoon nap? No, I haven't. Okay, time to go out. And... Can we grab that? No, we can't. There's nothing I can drop. Doesn't matter. Okay, you. I'm going into the air deck. You better you want to go in the air deck. Nah, nah, nah. Quit your whining. Everyone has to go in an air deck once in a while. Come on in. Come on. There we go. Oh, my head. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Don't have to shut it. Okay, and get the traveler bonus. Chet Wagner's is the next stop down. <laughs> but uh, this guy, you know, having a little nap here. You know what, dude? When you snooze, you lose. Did I hear him snoring? Pretty sure he did. So out he goes. Give me your milk money. And grab the stopworm there. Some 10 mil ammo. Just basically looting it up here. And his computer's open. Let's see if we can get find anything interesting on there. No access codes? Okay. Chet Wagner's office, this next stop here, right here. Shazam, we get the completionist uh, bonus for breaking in here. Grab all his money. And let's look on his computer and see what he's been up to. This is usually a level one hack, so it's pretty easy. It may look dangerous, but it's easy. Let's go over it. Fortify that. Yeah. I got that one so fast that uh Access granted. <laughs> it looks scary, but it's actually pretty easy. Okay, and the email that you want to uh, access is this one at the bottom here that'll get all the dirt on him. Tells a whole story about he, how he's involved with some illicit drug dealing. Alright, so that's that. You can read these other emails if you so desire. But that's the one, okay? So, mission accomplished. We got some dirt on Wagner. All we have to do is go to the front lobby and talk to him, twist his arm a little bit, and he's gonna give us all the information we want. So that's that. Get the Explorer bonus for going down here. And I'm out of space in my inventory here, yeah, I'm all jammed up, so I gotta visit a store and or my uh, um, apartment to dump off there. I can't even take this, no. Alright, so that's that. No, I believe the guy just went down the hall there. So we continue on our merry way around here. This is the other way into the police station, okay? This vent here. Get the traveler bonus for doing that. So basically, just do what I'm doing backwards, all right? <laughs> and you can get into the police station like this from the fire escape. And this will bring us to that back alley where, um, see there's the vent, okay, it's just basically going to do everything I'm doing backwards. Take this ladder here, down, and this is that back alley I was telling you about earlier on, okay. This is where uh, O'Malley is located and the DMPD storage locker, which is, both of which are objectives, okay on various quests that we're doing, okay? Locate the DMPD storage locker, right? And this one 
contact O'Malley, meet with O'Malley, all right? Let's go do that right now. Starting off with the DMPD storage locker. We have the code for this. Detective Chase gave us the code. In here. Actually, we're going to get our new objective once we go in. Okay, so we're in. Now our new objective is find all the evidence related to the case. All you have to do to complete that objective is read four ebooks in this storage locker. Two, three, and four. All right. Reading it up here, boss. And four, and that's it. Mission accomplished. Right. So we found all the evidence related to the case. Uh, I think that is it. The only thing that remains is to go to the police station police station lobby and strong arm Chet Wagner into giving, giving us some more information and that is it. You also have an optional objective if you manage to get the code um, by uh, using that back to the future cheat I told you about earlier when you're talking to Detective Chase and you just you know do a quick save and then purchase yourself the social enhancer and get the code. I believe the code is 71... let me just check my notes here written down here somewhere. Seven one somebody's gonna post it. Seven one here we go, seven one nine six. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick save, show you that. Seven one nine six. There we go, and we're in. And there's nothing special in here except uh some lab notes from Re Megan Reed and her bracelet. And you don't get anything special for these all you get is an achievement if you bring these uh, to um, to her mom at the end of the mission. So, and I think you even have to keep the bracelet to get the achievement or something like that. So that's all there is to it. You know, there's nothing big you're gonna miss by not raiding that safe. All right. So that is that. Um, I'm gonna quick load here. Go back to where I was because I don't want to fuck up the game. Now, Cloak and Daggers, we have to go talk to O'Malley. He's just around the corner, like literally around the corner, right there. Let's go have a chit-chat with him. Hey, O'Malley, what's up? Yes, may I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? <laughs> Let's do sarcastic. Yeah, by a clown and a midget for a while. But they eventually met the bearded woman they were looking for near a coffee shop, and we went our separate ways. Surely you're aware humor requires context, my friend. With a man like me, being funny in the wrong context could have dire consequences. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now, I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. Alright, now one of these I think it's about, if you just go there and ask him, he'll just get pissed off. All these are, you know, he just get pissed off. You don't sound like a cop. You, on the other hand, are starting to sound exactly like one. I strongly suggest you simply get on with the program. 
Okay, so that doesn't do anything. It's these, the details you want to ask him, okay? So let's ask about the stash. I can get inside Derelict Row, but where can I find their weapon stash? Look for an old concrete structure that is boarded up and condemned. I believe they stock their supplies right underneath it. All right, let's ask about the target. I need a more precise location on the target. There's a small back alley known to the locals as Earl's Court. You can access Double T's building using the fire escape. He's in one of the apartments on the fourth floor. And the package? So what is it I'm picking up and where is it exactly? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. In front of it, on the other side of the street, you'll see a door that leads to a maintenance corridor. In the first corner of that corridor, you will find a crossbow hidden amongst the trash and debris. Use it to kill Double T. And of course, you're not going to do that, all right? So that's it. The plot thickens. Let's leave. I guess that's it for now. So we got a bunch of new objectives with this one here, Cloak and Daggers. Locate the MCP gang's hideout. That's um, in the same building as our discount weapons dealer, all right? Retrieve O'Malley's package and go to Derelict Row and um, find a shipment of weapons, all right? And we'll get some bonus uh, bonus reward if we could do all this in the DRB territory without being detected, all right? And I'm going to show you how to do that later on. So that's that. We only have a couple things left to do with motherly ties. One of them is to hook up with Chet Wagner at the police station lobby, and then finally the mission will be complete, and we'll hook up with Cassandra Reed back at our apartment, which is where we're going anyways, because we got a whole bunch of stuff to dump off. And that is it for this video. I'm going to save the game here. Thank you all very much for watching. Savey, savey. Very good. Very good. This game has been saved. Hang on. Quick save it just to make sure. There we go. <laughs> and if you have been um, remotely entertained, by watching this video and you learn something well hey don't forget to give the old slacks three thumbs up all right that's it slack is out <laughs>